So in this video, we're going to go through some of my favorite kit bashing sets. Now, this ship here was created on live stream last weekend. Hit that notification button so you get notified when I go live and come share the experience of creating stuff like this. Anyway, let's check out some kit bashing sets. So to start off, I'm going to showcase my kit bashing set that I use quite frequently and the ones that I've created. So if you go to Markham 3D, you can see I've got three kit bashing sets. Now this number one here, most of it is available to download for free. There is a link in the description. Might actually be easy just to open the file. So here we can see all of the pieces that I've created and you'll probably see some of these familiar ones on here on some of my previous ships. But in kit bashing two, whereas I use quite a few of them. So let's jump over into that one. Now this is my second kit bashing set, which is a little bit more complex in models. I'll quickly show you some examples. This was the Dreadnought ship that we created, I believe mostly on live stream. Um, but you can see quite a few of the elements in here. So for instance, we can see this piece here, for some reason it's not joined, and we've got this back piece here. And that is, uh, this is the side piece with the engines attached. And then that back piece is back here. So you can see how I've used them quite a bit, but the most recent live stream, I went pretty hard and used this kit bashing set, which I just released, I think a couple of days ago. You can pick it up on Gumroad, Blender Market, CG Trader and ArtStation, but it is also available on Patreon. So there's some really nice pieces. And if we go back and have a look at the main ship, you can just see how much these models have made the ship just pop out dramatically. It looks grouse. And that's fully sick. Now these two sets are from Andrew Hodgson's. Uh, he's the one of the main reasons why I created a kit bashing set, because uh, I purchased it. I purchased his and went, wow, I can do this as well. And so this made me start developing my own kit bashing set. There's some wonderful pieces in here. And Andrew's a hard surface modeler who did work on Terminator series, the new Star Wars films, amazing balls. And so these are some of the complex items. And I would say these are some of the less complex items, but they look stunning. And the other cool thing that he's done with his, so if we select one of the models, let's go over into UV editing and we'll go unwrap. Whoops. No, don't select everything. You can see he's actually UV unwrapped each of these greebles. My goodness. And then there's Oleg. I'm not even going to try and say his last name, but he's got some really good complex objects. And these are some of the ones that I've picked up and put them all together. I really want to start using some more of these into some of my designs. But when I go ahead and create some of my own kit bashing, I kind of use these pieces as inspiration to see what I can actually do and kind of like expand my own library. Those two are available on ArtStation, link in the description. And then there's this last environmental set from Yulial Silva, and he's created some pretty cool artworks with these. I especially like these ones in here, uh, but they're very much environmental, uh, futuristic, futuristic? Yeah, you can call it that. Um, major assets. This pack does come with a few blender materials. So if you want to go check that out as well, so if you want to check out the live streams, make sure you hit the notification button. For all these kit bashing sets, there is a link in the description. So go check them out, like and subscribe, and be good to your mum.